Look at me, finally getting around to filming this video. Jesus Christ, it's literally like the 7th of January. It's the 7th. I was supposed to film this before New Year's. The ironic thing is, is that one of my news resolutions is to get better at content. So, uh, yeah, but um, this video is about my news resolutions. I film this every year. I love this video. I say this every year as well. I love this video. I find it so refreshing. And I think New Year's resolutions are a great way to keep track of your goals and stuff. Um, again, same book as usual. If you've seen any of my others, I've literally got New Year's resolutions from 2016 here. Um, I really want to make sure I track these throughout the year. I'm going to do like monthly goals and stuff. Um, that's a whole other thing. But I'll get on to, firstly I'll go through my last year's resolutions, talk about how well I did, stuff like that, and then we'll talk on to 2022 resolutions. This is quite in theme with me, um, if you've watched my, what I got for Christmas, or if you follow me on Instagram or anything, I know I'm quite into like, self care and stuff like that at the moment, and I want to get more into that this year because I'm really sick of being ill. So, here we are, um, let's just get into my 2021 resolutions and how they went. So, honestly, am I going to say all of them? Probably not, because they're a bit personal. But, you know what? Fuck it. So, here's the list. Let's go through. So, first one, be who you want to be. Honestly, it's kind of a vague one, but I think I've done it. I think I've just been myself a lot more this year than I was any other years, other than when I was really ill. I've had, just to preface this, I was really unwell most of this year, most of last year. Um, that's probably gonna come up, yeah. Um, <laughs> but be who I want to be, I think I did that pretty well. I don't really know, because I don't remember most of the year, but I think, I stay true to myself quite a bit. I want to do more of that this year. I think my personality is not shining through as much as uni at uni as I want it to, which is hilarious because I've been there a year and a half now. Anyway, so yeah, be who I want to be. I think I've done alright with that. I'll put a tick next to it, just because generally, you know? The next one was get back to dance. Um, I have gone to dance quite a few times, but not as much as I would like to, so that is, again, it's on my more resolutions this year as well um i love dance but because i've been so insecure i don't want to watch myself dance and then if i don't watch myself dance i don't feel like i've done anything and it's just it's a whole thing um but i've always loved dance and i really wanted to get back to it and i did i put a question mark next to it because not as much as i wanted to so it's a success but it's not a complete success but again cutting myself some slack because i have been very unwell um but, yeah, if you're curious as to what dance I do, I do commercial. I sometimes do contemporary if I can be bothered to go. Um, that's about it. I want to try some new styles this year. Because um, I'm actually in the Freestyle Dance Society, so might as well try some new styles. But, yeah, I feel like I'm going to ramble so much. I find talking videos really difficult because I'm so bad, like I just don't shut up. The next thing I put is listen to myself. During 2020, I really struggled with getting loads of different bits of advice from lots of different people about certain aspects of my life. And I'd sort of learned at the end of the year that I know myself better than anyone else does. Um, and I think I've done this. I've put a tick next to it. Um, I'm not saying that I should have listened to myself all the time. I should have been in more, more in tune with my gut. Um, but sometimes things wanna, your brain is just doesn't wanna listen to your gut, you know? Um, so I do wanna get more in tune with that this year, more in tune with my instincts and stuff, but I have put a tick next to it because I do think I trusted myself a lot more this year and I've cut myself a lot of slack, the slack that I deserve because I know myself better than anyone else knows me. I know what my body needs and things like that and so do you. So make sure you do that too. If people are giving you advice, they do most of the time just wanna help, but you know yourself better than anyone else. So yeah, next I put improved graphic design skills. I'll put a tech next to this. Um, not 
not sure about that one. Honestly, I'm so bad at graphic design. I can't do it. I really want to do it. But I, sh I don't understand it. So if anyone wants to like teach me, that'd be really helpful because I just, I try. Like I've got fresco on my iPad now and that's mostly what I do. I just mostly do like free drawing and stuff. That's why I put a tape next to it. Cause I have done some better stuff, but this semester I actually have like a whole module where I'm gonna have to do a lot of graphics and I'm really worried about it because I'm not the best. So honestly I put a tape next to it because they have improved, but I'm still bad at it. I'm just slightly less bad. So I'll say that's another slight success. We celebrate little successes in this house, okay? Remember, every little success is a success. Um, improve on mindfulness, so manifestation, stuff like that. I honestly feel like I've manifested so much this year. As look, I keep saying this year, it was last year. Um, as I've said, didn't have the best year, but things that went well, I feel like I brought into the universe, you know? Um, and I have sort I do sort of get into a routine at some points not consistently but that, again that's something for this year where I was meditating I was journaling I was journaling most days um or reading for a long time um I've got a lot more crystals incense all stuff like that you know the corporate side which I just sounds a bit stupid um but I think I've put a tick next to this as well. I think I did do this. Again, there's still more to go, but I'm more invested in it than I was, and I want to keep getting invested in it because it's it's just a little like escape, but it's escape to reality rather than escape from reality, which just sounds strange. It's just it's a it's a good mindset, and I think near the end of the year I finally worked on that thanks to my medication that's actually being on it. <laughs> Next one is stick out the gym because you enjoy it. I've gone to the gym more this year than I have any other year. So again, I put a tick next to it. Again, not as consistently as I want, but with my eating disorder, um, I like to celebrate when I do do something for myself. And I, being in the gym obviously is quite hard for me. Um, trying to shift my mindset. That's a, one of the big thing I'm working on this year. Um, shifting on my mindset in the gym but I have been going pretty consistently and I do go because I enjoy it and it's a nice release of frustration rather than I need to look a certain way which again it is hard to get out of your head but I think exercise is a good thing for your body and your mind it shouldn't be a way to make your body look a certain way if you know what I mean it's about your health not your appearance your health and your appearance are two different things Remember that, ladies and gents. Um, again, film and edit because I enjoy it. I think I uploaded more this year than I did last year. I still didn't upload that much. <laughs> uh, okay, it's hard, it's hard because I've run out of ideas and I don't want to force a video out that's gonna be shit, you know? So, I guess I did film and edit because I enjoy it. I don't know why I put edit because I enjoy it. I hate editing, but I have started using new editing system um, which has been quite interesting and I haven't been like filming a lot of TikToks and stuff because I do enjoy it. I love creating content and I know it sounds so cringe but I do love doing it. So this is why we're here and I'm going to continue to push out this year because it does make me very happy. And it's really good. It's a really good way to romanticise your life I think. Even the bad bits. The next one I put is put less pressure on yourself and then I put a little note saying success is important but happiness is more important. I put a tick next to this and I think, again, yes I definitely did this. Um, again I struggled for a few months but I sort of let myself struggle. Um, I got quite in tune with myself and what I needed and I still managed to get all my deadlines and everything which is astounding and I have had to have had a few extensions but that is okay that is what they're there for um again success is important happiness is more important success shouldn't be your form of happiness you should find happiness in your life that you don't have to be successful at you don't like if you have a hobby you don't have to be good at it you don't have to be successful at it it just has to make you happy that's the point success is important but happiness is more important and you can be 
happy without being successful as you feel you need to be. The last one's really fun, more tattoos. I only had one tattoo, I'm pretty sure, at the start of the year, which was my, oh, it's covered right now, um, drum set, and then I can show you this one. I've got another one on my thigh, if you wanna go look on my Instagram. I'm getting another one relatively soon as well, um, but I also got this one. When I get a few more, I'm gonna do like a whole tattoo tour of like the meanings and stuff. I think everyone knows this one is for my granddad. My next one is gonna be for my grandpa. I'll go through the readings of all the other ones. And like maybe just a TikTok, um, cause I don't have many, but yeah. Um, but that was all my 2021 resolutions. Um, as I've said, I had a bad year. It was one of the worst years of my life. Um, but you know what? It's over now and we can move on and we can start a new mindset, we can start a new life and we can refresh and it's just, I'm leaving a lot of things in that year and a lot of people. Um, I had a lot of heartbreak, a lot of stress, um, and a lot of relationships ended for me. So I'm sort of going into a massively new chapter of my life and I'm okay with that. It feels like a fresh start, especially with moving next month. Um, yeah, it's going to be a new... It's like I'm being a bit reborn, you know? I'm starting a new life um, and keeping the bits of my life that I want to. So. This I've written is so neat. Like, <laughs> I feel like being neat and tidy, again, great way of romanticising your life. Um, honestly, this is a complete side note, but I feel like the way that people are taught to do things that are good for them is not okay. Like, you're taught to eat healthy, so you're not fat. You're taught to be tidy, so your, like, parent doesn't shower you if you're room being messy. When you should be taught that you should do these things because they're good for you. And they'll make you feel better, and they'll enhance your life. Complete side note, but... Yeah, here are my 2021 resolutions. Some of them are... Um, career goals, mental health goals... Um, I am going to do a whole other manifestation thing, but I'm probably going to keep them private. If they're not private, they will be on my TikTok. XOLARSW. If I remember to post them on that one and not my other one. Uh, yep. Yeah. But anyway, let's just get on to my 2022 resolutions. Okay, so first off, I've got Bag A Good Internship. So, if you don't know, I'm in my second year of uni. And my next year is a placement. And I just realised I might actually not... I've, completely forgot to fill out my it might not be a placement because I might have forgot to change oh I'm gonna have to email someone about that um but anyway I've got back a good internship I've applied for quite a few I've got quite a few dream jobs um honestly if I don't get an internship I'm completely okay with carrying on with uni um that would be fine by me, um, but I would quite like the experience. Yeah, obviously buy a good internship, get a good job, be happy in that job, feel fulfilled, stuff like that. That's just on my list, it's quite a basic one, so there's not really much to say about it. Um, second one is a healthier relationship with food. It's been a week, I'm trying, I'm struggling <laughs> a lot, but I want to be okay by the end of this year. Um, I'm gonna go into therapy in the near future. Um, Cause food is good and I don't want to be scared of it anymore. Or over fixated on it. Or you know, the whole, the whole eating disorder shebang. I'm tired of it. Um, but yeah, again, quite a simple one. Just sort out my relationship with food. Honestly, everyone put that one on your list because I don't know anyone with a good relationship with food as much as you might think you do. I think the more you learn about recovery, the more you realise that you never had a good relationship with food and most people don't have a good relationship with food and it's honestly quite a depressing reality. Anyway, um, okay, I'm skipping the next one because, ooh, it's a private one. <sighs> okay, then I put get more into spirituality again with like manifestation, mindfulness, stuff like that. Um, just, it makes me feel good. It's a nice escape. I don't shut up about it. 
If you ask me about star signs, I will not stop talking for about three hours. If you ask me about crystals, I'll probably be about half an hour. But I want to be more into that. I want to be more into manifestation because I can see all the good it does for people. Um, and I know it would do good for me. It's a nice way of feeling like I have a bit of control. Um, and you do have control. There's your reminder. You do have control. So, yeah, there's that one. Um, get a good routine. I really struggled with this year, this year. Routines are really hard when you have low energy. Um, but I don't think they have to be as strict as I've made them out to be. Um, but I do sort of want to... I do plan my weeks anyway, but I want to stick at that. And routines are just a good way of structuring your life. I feel like I have no structure in my life. As soon as I finished first year, I really struggled with that, having no structure in my life. Um, so yeah, that is something I want to improve because... I think it's a good thing to have. Structure is a great thing to have in your life because then you, it's less stressed. Your mind doesn't feel as cluttered. You know when you've got time for things, you know when you don't have time for things and you just know what your days are gonna look like. Again, I put dance more. I wanna start dancing at least once a week. I don't know if that's gonna happen for a while. Um, but I do love dance and again, it makes me happy and that is my number one goal this year, putting myself first and making myself happy because I'm tired of not being happy. Um, so yeah, dance more. Gonna try some new styles as well, but I have like a bunch of classes that I could go to every week and I don't. So, next one I put is schedule journaling. I'm really bad at journaling just because like, I forget to do it. So I wanna schedule days, like schedule days and nights where I do them, because I usually do it before bed. Um, so if I schedule a certain day, then I'll know I'll do it and I'll like take it off, you know what I mean? Cause I check my to-do list at the end of the day anyway. Um, so if I do it, just making sure I'm doing it three times a week because I forget and then I just sort of get out of the habit of it and then I just don't want to do it. I don't know if anyone else has this problem when you get out of the habit of doing something, it's really hard to get back into it. It's the same with like everything for me, like reading, journaling, the gym, dance, everything. As soon as I get out of the habit of doing it, it's so hard to get back into it. Um, so yeah, that's why I want to schedule it to make sure I'm doing it and remind myself that I'm doing it for me and my mental well-being um, so I can be happy. Take a shot every time I say happy in this video. Okay, we've got a few more left. Okay, so we've got to keep up with self-care. I really need to do this because I feel so good when I take care of my body and myself. Um, but I feel like you're taught that that's kind of shallow. It's not shallow. Um, it makes me feel good to have my nails done and my hair done and feel pretty. So I'm going to keep up with it. So that's why I put nails, hair, face masks, skincare, stuff like that. I want to keep up with treating myself. Um, because I deserve it. Mostly. Um, and it makes me feel good. And you should do things that make you feel good. So yeah. And then the next one I think is a really important one. Be as nice to yourself as you would be to someone else. Every time, this is, I think, again, should be a goal for everyone. Every time you say something to yourself, you have to think, would I say that to someone else? Unless you're a really shitty person, you probably wouldn't. Like, whenever I call myself fat or anything, which I'm sorry if this is triggering, um, you just have to think, would you say that to someone else? Because I don't think you would. And I genuinely think that's the best way to keep yourself happy. There's being realistic with yourself and honest with yourself. But you have to talk to yourself the way you'd want other people to talk to you. It's sort of a law of attraction thing. And sort of a... Even if everyone else is amazing to you, if you're not nice to yourself, you're still not going to feel good. And then, the last one. Take more pictures. I never take any fucking pictures. Um... Just before New Year's, I was on a night out and I was taking loads of pictures and I try and do it, but I just forget when I'm drunk. But I do want to take more pictures. Um, I want to stuff out my Instagram game and I like taking pictures, they're nice memories. And I never get any, anywhere. So I need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, that's the last one. But I want to memorialise this year and how good it's going to be for me. And how proud of myself I'm going to be by the end of it. That is sort of my New Year's introduction, finale of last year, 
video situation. If you want to keep track of how I'm doing, again, subscribe, stay in tune with all my socials. I'm going to be posting a lot through the next year. Um, so yeah, I'd really appreciate the support and I think you'll really enjoy it because I think I'm fab and I'm only going to get better from here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you hopefully very soon if I can think of a new video to film. Um, in the meantime, obviously, socials and stuff. But, yeah. Kisses. <laughs>